The member for Hamilton Mountain. Thank you, Speaker. My question is for the Minister of Health. It has been months since the Ontario optometrists have heard from the Minister, although she has no doubt received hundreds of messages from patients and professionals. And just in case she's missed some, I'm going to send some over uh, with the pages. I've had constituents call my office demanding answers of when their children will be able to get an eye exam as their kids are struggling in the schools. There are seniors who can't leave their homes because they can't get an eye exam that is required for the 80-plus driver's test. Speaker, it's not fair that people's lives are being negatively impacted by this government's inaction. When will the government reach out to Ontario optometrists about getting back to the negotiating table so that children and seniors can get the eye care that they need? Minister of Health. Thank you very much, Speaker. And well, there's one thing that I can agree with uh, the member on with respect to her question, and that is it is very disappointing that the, um, uh, the Ontario Association of Optometrists has decided to withdraw publicly provided services for children and seniors. That is done at their urging. The government continues to fund these OHIP covered services for children and seniors. However, this is a decision that's been made by the Ontario Association of Optometrists. We have made a payments to them already. We've already made a $39 million payment into their accounts to indicate that we want to work with them. We want for them to come back to the table. This is to cover some of the losses they've had in the last 10 years since their agreement expired in 2011. Nothing was done about it by the previous government, but we want to sit down with the Ontario Response. Association of Optometrists and find a result to this issue that's been going on for some years. Ontarians need eye exams, and they need them now. There is no legal mandate for the government to negotiate with the optometrists, so it's not surprising that the government has used this to their advantage to ignore the optometrist's demands. The government's proposal of a one-time catch-up payment would only be 8.48 per cent increase, which would only cover approximately $48 of the $75 exam. This would leave Ontario behind every province in the country. Just to catch up to the lowest funded province next, which is Manitoba, there would need to be a 65 per cent increase to funding in Ontario. So, Will the government commit to negotiating with optometrists in good faith, or are they just going to leave optometrists and their patients in a state of limbo forever? Minister of Health. Thank you. Well, first, I think it's important to correct some of the misconceptions contained in this statement made by the member. First is the comparisons have been made with respect to comparisons with other provinces. That is not an apples-to-apples -apples comparison. In fact, the payments in Manitoba are made every other year, not every year. Secondly, we have already to withdraw the unparliamentary remark and conclude her answer. Speaker. Um, in addition, we have already indicated that we want to sit down, go back to mediation with the Ontario Association of Optometrists. We've already offered a payment with respect to past payments that uh, they have not received since 2011. We want to continue with an 8.48 per cent increase at this point now, retroactive actually to April 1st, and we want to discuss the overhead issues they've, they've told us and told many of you are really important to them. We are prepared to sit down at mediation and continue these discussions with the association, but they are not willing to come back. So that you can't negotiate by yourself. We ask Thank you.